All right, everybody. This is Austin on the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. Now, you know, sometimes I think I do all right. So I bought this yesterday. Uh, was today Monday? Yeah, today was Monday. So yesterday was Sunday. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Okay. La. You know what? I'm going to keep that in there for class. All right. That was a timer I had set. So I remember to make my wife a sandwich for work tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's right. A little bit of role reversal. I don't know if I've mentioned or not that she's an electrician, so I don't mind making her a sandwich. She's a tough guy. Okay, let's get back to this. Let's get serious. Let's get serious right now. I pay $10 for this. You see, it's pretty neat. I mean, let me see if I can maybe, uh, maybe adjust a lighting setting or something. Maybe get a little bit of red light on it. How's that? Rocks the neon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That maybe looks a little better, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. What do you guys think? So I paid ten dollars for this. I uh, just started researching it today. Uh, it turns out I accidentally bought twenty-four karat gold, like ninety-nine point nine percent gold foil is covering this piece. It's real gold. It was measured by the uh, uh, some, you know, some federation or something. <laughs> I forget what they said, honestly. 99.9% .9 gold. That's what I heard. Uh, this is uh, Hua Long Gold Foil Industrial Company and China Southern Collectibles Manufacturing and Distribution apparently got together and created this thing um yeah i mean i thought it was a pretty neat piece it was on sale for ten dollars i thought it was very pretty and uh you know it was a rich people neighborhood and uh any chance i get <laughs> that sounds rude that sounds rude and i'm sorry but any chance i get to buy a ten dollar uh, item from a rich person I will typically take because I mean they have more money than I do so maybe they bought something nice and and here you go so um, it's supposed to represent the great hall of the third floor of the central hall of Annunciation now, I'm sure that, that makes sense to someone it's not gonna be this guy I don't know I don't know what they just said to me. Now, let's look real quick. Uh, this is a Chinese piece. There's writing in several portions of it. Uh, I don't know what any of it says. I'm going to tell you that right now. But you see the shinies? I bought real gold for $10. I'm going to say that again. That says something too. And then, over here, there's a whole little blurb. I mean, that's a pretty neat thing, isn't it? And would you guys like to know how neat of a thing that is? I found one that sold for $688. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Austin, Austin, Austin. I guess. I mean, if you're just going to cover stuff in solid gold and, uh, you know, make it all gorgeous and stuff. Man, let me, uh, I don't know if you guys are really getting all the, all the neatness of that. Sometimes my camera seems to have a tough time focusing in on very shiny stuff, but I mean this is a very cool thing. What do we think about all that? Very, very beautifully made, I mean, like very obviously. The second I saw the picture I thought it was super neat, but I just assumed it was, you know, a little bit of gold leaf or something but but yeah apparently it's got like a 
like a fair bit of weight of gold to it. And uh, yeah, the last one sold for almost $700. Uh, I guess it was over a year ago, so I mean, you know, it's not a perfect result or anything. It's not telling me that I'm about to make $700, but it's telling me I'm not going to sell it for $200, you know what I mean? Anyway, I mean, God, I just keep doing fairly well on some of this stuff. Um, my next video is going to be on how to avoid certain Chinese fakes um, in pottery. So we'll talk about fake Chinese pottery. It's not fake. I mean, it exists. But uh, it's not what it's pretending to be. And I'd like us all to be able to look for that. And it's not even just Chinese pottery that they imitate. I've got a... Uh, I've got a pretty good example of a Japanese imitated piece. So yeah, we'll look at that and uh, hopefully I'll help you avoid uh, any mistakes in the future when you're buying Japanese or Chinese pottery. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel and we'll talk to you later.